So lately I've been talking about how to save battery life when using the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. We've talked about a couple of different things including making sure certain applications cannot run in the background, disabling the always on display feature. Today I wanted to talk about setting a dark theme to save battery life on the Note 9 as it will actually take advantage of the Super AMOLED display technology that Samsung has been developing over the years. With AMOLED displays, I don't want to get too in depth here with AMOLED dis displays. The phone will only light up each individual pixel if it needs to be lit. That way if you have a dark or black or in, and even use the color like an accent color of red, red is very power efficient when it comes to AMOLED displays, then you can save battery life compared to having a light background or a display that is full, fully white. So to do that, we're going to take advantage of Samsung's Themes feature. And we start that by opening up the Settings application, and then tapping on the Wallpapers and Themes option. Well, this is just an introduction to the Themes feature. So we're just going to tap on Start at the bottom. And since this is an individual application, it needs access to our photos, medias, and the files on our device. So we're just going to tap the Allow option. Now we have the option to add a Samsung Themes application icon to the home screen. This is something I prefer because I'm really not a fan of digging through the settings, so I avoid that whenever possible. So I'm just going to tap the add button. And then from here we can choose whether or not we want the Samsung Themes application to send you promotions. I'm going to deny this, but you may be a big fan of Themes, so you may want to get those specific Samsung Themes promotions. It's entirely up to you. Now once we go into the Samsung Themes application, it's going to default us to the Wallpapers section, but we're just going to go ahead and switch over to the Themes section. Now I have pre-downloaded a couple of free themes that I will have linked to in my website in the full tutorial, and you'll find that link in the video description for anybody who is watching this on YouTube. But you can actually go through here, you can go through the feature, the top, the new, you can do searches. I picked out two specific themes and downloaded them. Selecting the material black for those who want an absolute black but material design style theme. That will take absolute advantage of the AMOLED display and we'll use very minimal battery life. I'm not really a fan of a complete black theme, but I do like a dark theme. And still, whether it's a black theme or a dark theme, it's a lot better than having a screen and wallpaper that is bright white, yellow, orange, those type of colors. So once you have found your application or you found your theme that you want you're gonna see a download button here at the bottom some of these themes are free some of them are paid you can see you can download a trial if you want the two that I will be linking in my article in my tutorial are absolutely free and there are many more that are free. There are mil there are tens of thousands of app of themes in the Samsung Themes app um, store that are free to use and just as good 
if not better than some of the paid ones. So once you download your theme, again, we're going to need to be in the themes section. We're going to see all of our themes that we have downloaded right up here at the top. We tap on the view all button. And then we're going to see all the themes that we have downloaded. As I mentioned, I'm a fan of the Material Dark, so I'm going to tap on Material Dark. And right here we get some previews of what this theme actually looks like. Once you have previewed the theme that you actually want to use, I naturally just tap on apply. Some applications may have to close so that I can actually apply the images to that theme. So if you are doing any type of work, make sure to save that work because some unsaved data will be lost. Just a bit, a bit of a warning. Tap on apply. Takes a few seconds for it to apply the, the theme. And now we are at, now we are using the Material Dark theme on our device. We're going to see a lot of the user interface elements that are now themed dark. Some won't be. And this is really going to be for a lot of the first party Samsung applications. Like you sh like I showed you in the um, the preview. It's going to be for our home screen and lock screen. It's going to theme our dialer, our contacts even our messages application. It will not theme everything. And for those third-party applications, you're gonna to have to rely on those developers to include a dark mode or a black mode if you want it to match perfectly with your currently applied Samsung theme. You can also use um, Substratum's version for Samsung devices. If you wanted to and you are on the correct version, the supported version. Uh, but just for a basic theming feature that will let you save some battery life, I highly suggest you use the Samsung Themes application. Go through there, find a dark or black theme that you enjoy, just to give you a example of what the black material theme looks like. As you can see we have a black background and it'll be a black lock screen. The background of the quick settings has black. We're going to have a black background in our settings. And then our applications, Samsung's applications like the phone and the contacts and the dialer, etc., etc., those are going to be themed black. So that's just a very simple way to save some battery life since all of these black pixels do not need to use any battery life to light up and show anything in comparison to an LCD display, you will save a considerable, considerable amount of battery life if you're using applications that are in a dark mode or a black theme when you use your device.